And before we start the game review, it would be really awesome if you ladies and gents out there could click the like button. And also arcade tap the subscribe button. Oh, before I forget, don't forget to click that notification bell. Keep you updated on new awesome videos to come with yours truly. And now, let's start the game review. Good morning, my sexy maggots. It's Cindy here, and welcome for today's game review. And today we are going to review and play Sega's Columns. Sega's Columns is a match three puzzle video game released by Sega in 1989. The developer Jay Geertsen, the genius behind the idea columns, Mr. Geertsen wanted to create a successor to Alexei Pajitnov's Tetris in the late 1980s. Mr. Geertsen's Columns had wanted the idea similar to Tetris at best, but wanted an extra different style to it with colored jewels that can be broken with three matching colors and with a crossed line style as well too. Which is pretty freaking rad, dude. Okay, ladies and gents, let's be bejeweled and glamored in Sega's columns. So, in columns, you can start by picking three levels between the easy level, which starts you at level zero, making the level nice and easy. Next is medium, which skips to level five. And lastly, the hard level, which boosts things a lot faster. So, if you're a pro, which I know I'm sure as hell not, we'll make the jewels drop down faster as well. So, in the start of the game, you have three different symbols, such as differently colored jewels, appear one at a time at the top of the well and fall to the bottom, landing either on the floor or on top of previously fallen columns. While a column is falling, the player can move it left and right and can also cycle the positions of the symbols within it. And like I said, ladies and gents, is about being careful and having a watchful eye on seeing how you set up your jewels perfectly. Sometime, you can totally screw yourself over, like what I'm doing, but once I see the setup on how the jewels are aligned, we should see a nice juicy combo, ladies and gents, and hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about, baby. And what's a really cool feature? In columns is that once you have a different jewel lined up, you can see a white indicator around areas of the field, letting you know where to drop the jewels for a granted jewel break. And that is really freaking nice, too. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah, double cross up. Dude Columns is so freaking fun. I can feel this game relaxing my brain cells while I try to figure out my next move. Yeah, I should have dropped that red jewel on that other one. Well, oh well, I'll just do it on the next one. And on the blue one as well. Oh, really? Really? I see how it is. Columns don't want to give me a green jewel. Come on! Okay, there we go. Finally, I can get this out the way. Damn. You know what? I could have set that piece to the left drop area. Damn it. Oh well, that too is another thing I like about puzzle games and columns does it right. Making the right decisions must be on the dial, ladies and gents. Hmm, let's see. I'll drop the red jewel here and the orange jewel here, and yes, and flip the jewel yellow. Here and boom, let's go baby. Oh shit, it's getting faster now. It's trying to pressure me right away, okay. No need to panic, I'll flip the green jewel. Yes, that gave me space now. Fuck! I should have not touched that purple jewel. Now I just screwed myself over for sure. Fuck, 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 fuck. Fuck! Welp, that's how the cookie crumbles. Welp, ladies and gents, this was Sega's Columns. So, what's my review for Sega's Columns? Sega's Columns is by far the best puzzle game pushed out for Sega the music and visuals, and lastly, the gameplay is super addictive. Ladies and gents, I recommend playing Sega's Columns. It is for sure a brain relaxer and super fun. So if you wanna play this masterpiece, I'll put a link down below for you all so you could give it a try. You'll love it. The game is intense the faster the columns rain down on you, putting the pressure on your setup and next moves. And for that, Sega's Columns gets 9 Razor Hearts out of 10. I mean, do I need to say more? Columns was indeed, in fact, outstanding. And before I forget, 
Ladies and gents, we have new merch in the retro store. Be sure to check them out. We have my Cindy Retro collection, and we have stickers that you can place on your fridge, on your laptop, and desktop computer tower. And a cool game on Cindy Coffee Mug. So be sure to get yours, ladies and gents. And as always, thank you for watching the review. And don't forget, stay retro, my sexy little maggots.